it's the unwrapping of my January art care package list just so you guys can get an idea of what kind of things I put in the art care packages. Um, there is a list of what is going to be in the art care package. So for this month, I put one print of my gouache painting, Milky and Stars. Um, this painting is really reminiscent of kind of how I grew up. Um, I would eat like these milky candies um, all the time and I would make all these little paper stars. That was like a really popular thing to do growing up for me. And um, there's a little note in here that kind of talks about that and talks about some suggestions um, on what to do with all the stuff in the art care package. There are also 13 plus public domain images in the theme of vintage Valentine's. So here are some of those images. Um, I specifically curated these images thinking about um, a love theme and just trying to find really pretty pictures and um, really nice imagery of some vintage pieces and I really loved all the the lacy stuff that was um, prominent in a lot of the vintage uh, valentines um, you know the contours of that and the kind of layering like a lot of layering that was happening I thought would be really great for collaging um, which is which also involves a lot of layering um, there are three drawing prompts in there um, which I'll show you in a little bit um, and then there's some assorted assorted origami papers in there um, try to pick kind of designs and colors that would fit with everything and then there's a small sheet of some of my handmade paper. So I used to make my own paper a lot out of just recycled papers, recycled materials, and um, I really want to get back into doing that again. But um, this is some leftover pieces that I still have. So if there's some of that in there, I thought it would be great to add some texture and some layering if you were doing collaging. Or you could use this to write a really nice note to somebody. And, um, and then there's the three drawing prompts. So I want to go through and show you what I would do with, um, with these drawing prompts. So in this drawing prompt, um, I suggested that you add to this lace design. Um, I'm using Stettler's uh, pigment liners. These are waterproof and just really great quality. I love using these. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, kind of zone out and add to this lace design. Starting by just kind of finishing out some of the unfinished parts or kind of the parts that were cropped out in the design and then thinking about what I could add that is you know partly kind of similar to what's already there but also kind of what could be my own own twist in this. This is a great exercise and kind of just, um, you know, zoning out and doodling, but also thinking a little bit creatively on how you can add your own twist to things. So this is pretty lopsided. I'm going to see if I can do something to really cover that up. Sometimes even little mistakes like that can help inspire you to do the next thing. So mistakes aren't always a bad thing because they give you a better idea of what direction to go. Kind of like in life too. <laughs> okay, I feel like I've pretty much finished out, kind of closed out some of the unfinished pieces and got things to mesh really well, but now, you know, where do I go from here? I 
got to kind of expand on this design. For cohesiveness, I think it's good if you repeat some pattern elements, but you know, really make this your own and have fun with it. You definitely don't need to go the direction I'm going in, and I hope you have fun just making this your own and, you know, thinking of this as a really fun kind of doodling exercise that's still really working your brain. If you feel like you're always too hesitant to start these drawing prompts, sometimes it's hard to start something because you feel like, oh, there's no do-overs, but there's definitely do-overs with this. You can always like take a picture or photocopy my drawing prompts and feel like you have like multiple versions of this to work on. If you really feel yourself kind of freezing up and going, oh no, this is the one and I have to do this perfectly or I don't get another chance, you know, maybe it'll ease your mind a little bit. It doesn't mean that you have to make multiple pieces, but maybe it'll ease your mind a bit to know that there's like a backup. I know I'm like that. And here's my finished lace design for my portrait of a loved one. Um, my cat Gigi is sleeping in the studio. So I'm gonna work on sketching him. It's so hard to sketch him because he's just all black and everything kind of blends in together. Here's my finished GG sketch. In this prompt, I'm going to fill in this heart with my favorite things. Just thought it'd be fun to think about what your favorite things are. It um, makes me happy to think about my favorite things. And, you know, just a uh, great exercise in letting go and having fun. I don't think everything that is creative has to be serious or, you know, in the end, like a masterpiece. Some of creating can be really therapeutic and soothing and if it makes you happy, why not? Gigi baby or just cats in general is definitely one of my favorite things in life. That was sweet tooth. I love cakes and anything sweet. Really in love with Eleanor magic pencils. Mm. I love, I love love. Seeing people in love makes me happy. Love to eat mushrooms. But really, any kind. So that's like uh, an eringi mushroom, that's a shiitake, and that's an enoki mushroom. Love mushrooms. I feel like I think of a lot of food. Food really makes me happy. Mm. Love my plants. Anything to do with rabbits. Music is a big part of my life. I really love feeling the sun. I really love seeing people support each other. I really love anything to do with nature. This is like so not gonna fit in with everything else, but I really love watching the zombie apocalypse kind of shows. Something about it really eases me. I guess because a lot of life feels crazy and stressful. Watching people 
kind of team up together and work together and survive something as crazy as like a zombie apocalypse. Maybe it makes me feel better. I'm trying to have faith that humans can be good. I really, really like to sleep. I really love just landscapes and beautiful scenery. And feel free to take this any direction you want. I don't think they have to be material things. Maybe there's characteristics in people. So they could be material things, they could be not material things. And these are just some of my favorite things.